would you do if you were starting from scratch today on your channel? What you need to do is figure out what you can do as a YouTuber. Like what you feel like you can do and produce and make it as good as you can. And I, I today I would suggest doing this. I suggest making a dozen, maybe two dozen videos before you even drop your first video. Get familiar with it. You don't want to be like awkward and apologizing, saying I'm sorry in your first video because you're you're not comfortable. <laughs> drop, make two dozen videos, get comfortable with it, then drop your first video. That and then right there, that people are going to realize, oh yeah, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. He's comfortable. He's confident. Or she. And, and then they'll more likely to subscribe. And how do you manage that day to day? A whiteboard. A whiteboard helps. I just write up everything I need to get done, and when I'm done, I just erase it and just replace it with something else that needs to be done. What are some tips and tricks that you would offer people who want to be doing what you're doing? Well, here's a couple of things that most people haven't even thought about until recently. With a new YouTube layout, it's really important that you consistently you spread this out too. Like your video, make sure you comment on the video, then wait a few hours and add it to a playlist, then maybe add it to another playlist because it's bumping that video back up to the sub box. Oh, really? Do you like mm. your own videos, right? Yeah, but I, I don't- I never do that. Yeah, well, don't do it right away. Wait a couple hours. Okay. And if you have multiple YouTube channels, like we have your mama, like we'll use your mama to like and other favorite ones. the other videos. Yeah, you definitely have to network use your each channels. for each other, promote each for each other. Exactly. Against each other. And as we know, you, you know, YouTube, it, YouTube tends to break sometimes, so you can always rely on the subscription box. So it's really important to build that social media. And what about up in terms of uploading thumbnails? Make sure it really does relate to your content. Mm -hmm. YouTube does crack down on that. But don't be afraid to not use a thumbnail sometimes. Sometimes it's better just to have your face and just to have you doing your thing. It's more pe personable. Yeah, yeah, and people are going to recognize that. If they watch your videos a lot, they'll click on that right away. So what I suggest doing is upload the video, wait a couple hours, and add the thumbnail. Because after a couple hours, your hardcore subscribers are going to see you, the person that they always watch, and they'll click on that. Hmm. More likely than clicking on a video with a thumbnail they haven't seen before, of something they haven't seen before. You're starting one of your new YouTube channels from scratch. Is that a challenge for you? Because you have other channels that have communities, it's like kind of things are rolling. And then starting from nothing again. No, you don't start from nothing, you never do, because here's the thing, if I, let's say I'm working on this gaming channel, mm -hmm. right? That's, yeah, it may be starting from scratch, and it may have its own audience down the road, but I can promote that with the Yamama channel, the Outback Zach channel, and everything else we work on. You know, so your community isn't just limited to the one channel you yeah. work on, it's everything you work on. Is the key to gaining more views and subscribers right now collaborations, if, if you're starting from something small? It is, it's collaborations, but it's gotta be done right. Mm -hmm. And it's also about, you gotta make sure that you're putting something out there that people are looking for. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone's not helping you get your content out there, it's just you, you gotta make sure that people are looking for that content. Mm -hmm. So what other advice would you give people who want to take advantage of YouTube and be creators here? Okay, if you want to take advantage of YouTube and be creators, then you can't, you can't sit around. You gotta get up and take advantage of it. I'm telling you, if at this point in day and age on YouTube, is you gotta make, put out a video almost every day now. To, because that's just how YouTube works now. People Are you, don't you get tired? Yeah, people get tired, but hey, that's, you know, life. Life is tiring. And if, if you're gonna lay down every time you get tired, then you're not gonna get anywhere. I like your thinking.